is an elephant heavy. I'm coming back, baby. Everybody, it's your favorite friend, Blonde Richie, and welcome back to my channel, child. Welcome back. Take off your shoes. No. We are going through my fall Winter. Time, morning time. Skincare routine. <laughs> but, alright, so... I don't know if it's just me, but in the Winter. fall time, my skin gets riggedy, 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 raggedy. It's like dry, crusty, flaky, nasty. It kind of turns gray. It's just really nasty. So I had to come up with a special fall time skincare regime that will keep my skin moisturized and keep my skin like as popping as possible. Now, as y'all know, and as y'all can see throughout the videos throughout this year I've been on YouTube, I do not have the best skin in the world. But for where it's been, it's come a long way. And that's because I've just been dedicated to taking care of it, drinking my water, and like eating right and like doing all the things that promotes having healthy skin so what we're going to do is we're going to go right into this skincare routine i do not want to talk too much because i've been looking at my videos and i was like boy you just you just go on and on and on so we're not going to do that so that okay so the first step that i do when i do my skincare is that i go ahead and i oil cleanse now this is just some regular skin cleanser mixed in with different facial oils um it's nothing special just something i mixed up together and usually oil cleanser is really recommended for people who wear makeup but i find that when i oil cleanse like it really does really great things to my skin and i don't wear makeup i might wear some makeup for photo shoots or whatever but other than that i don't wear makeup so what I'm going to do is, the, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to oil cleanse. Ooh. Oh. I'm going to spray. Oh, that water don't smell right. Mm. I'm going to spray down with some water. I might have to change that. <laughs> okay. So how are you guys doing? How has your holiday been? Thanksgiving just came around. My Thanksgiving was absolutely horrible it was the worst thanksgiving i think i've ever had and yeah we'll talk about that in another video but how has your thanksgiving been did you guys follow the cdc guidelines and have something small and quaint or did you guys go out <laughs> to like big mama house with all 50 11 cousins that you got aunties and uncles um I don't think we followed the CDC guidelines. Uh, and I actually kind of feel bad about that. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this for like a straight minute. And then I'm gonna rinse it off. So I rinsed off the oils the oil cleanser and the next step we're going to do is the actual um cleansing so i know if you look at some of my older skincare videos you see that i use dr bronner's that is not the case anymore dr bronner's is still dope but i do like to try different things so i'm really into like these natural soaps now so right here i have african black soap here which is supposed to be good for detoxifying and balancing i have a mango butter bar which is for rejuvenating and farming child <laughs> i ain't get yoga and the last one i have is shea butter bar soap which is age defying and protection and what i do is i swap these out so i wash i do my skincare routine day and night so what i'll do is i'll just swap it throughout the regime so say for instance i use this today which i probably will well no say for instance i used this african black soap last night so i'm not going to use that for, i'm not going to use this for this video i'll probably use one of these two and then 
the one that I use for the morning, I'll use the other one for the night and I'll just keep rotating it around. So that, and I'm doing that so I can get all of the benefits of all the soaps. This is from the company Nubian Heritage and I get these from the vitamin shop. They have other ones that I plan on getting, but I got the three that I felt like I just wanted and needed the most. So today we're gonna do the raw shea butter um, age defying and protection and this is what the bar looks like look like a regular body soap and you can use this for your body if you want and it smells divine so we're gonna hit and apply the soap water and i'm gonna just cleanse for the next minute okay i'm back and i've rinsed the soap off so the next step i'm going to use is the toner and i have the clean beauty witch hazel apple cider vinegar toner right here now toner is not a step that you necessarily have to take but i like to use toner because i feel like it takes out the extra dirt and impurities in your skin that um cleansing might have missed so after I apply the toner, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some glyconic acid. And what glyconic acid is, it's pretty much an um, <clears throat> uh, light level chemical exfoliant. This is something that you don't want to use every day. But as you know, exfoliant is uh, something that strips off the dead skin and helps with the creation of new skin and that's the stuff that just keeps you youthful looking and keep your skin from looking dull this is not something that i recommend to use every single day but it's something that i really do feel like you should add a chemical exfoliant into your skincare regime 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 Next step I'm going to take is I'm going to add an essence into my skin. Um, an essence is pretty much just a primer for your serums. You do not have to do this. This is only if you just want to feel luxurious. Ooh. 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 The next thing I'm going to do is while my skin is still wet with the water essence, I'm going to add the hyaluronic S. As hyaluronic acid and this is from Azor. This is hyaluronic and retinol anti-aging facial serum. So it's supposed to have hyaluronic acid in it with a little touch of retinol in it. So we're going to add that in and what the hyaluronic acid is, it is a serum that is good to help your skin keep in and lock in moisture. Oh. Next thing I'm going to add to my skincare is some serums. I'm not going heavy on the serums today. I yeah, I just have two. So I have um, Restore by Valjean Labs and this has nicetamide and zinc. And we all know nicetamide is just awesome for the skin. And the next thing we're gonna have is the vitamin C. Oh, I'm sorry, the Valjean Revive. This has vitamin C and peptide in it and it's a day serum. And I'm just casually rub that in. <laughs> so the next thing that I'm going to do this is the under eye serum. I'm just going to add that. Keep them bags out the way. The only bags we want is Birkins. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my oils. We all know the oils to keep the moisture in. And that's what I need the most is moisturization. So I have here a Rewind um, Active Facial Oil from Providence Beauty. And it has avocado and rosehip oil. But um, the reason why I love this is because it has the rosehip oil, which is a dope oil. But it also has black seed oil, which we all know black seed oil is the miracle oil. So that's why I really love this facial oil because it just has like those ingredients I really use on a regular basis anyway. 
And then also to that, I'm gonna add some Valjean Morning Glow Oil. And this has vitamin C in it, squalene. And it also has vitamin E oil in it, which vitamin E oil is has been like a godsend to my skin at times when I use it. But usually when I use the vitamin E oil, I would actually take the vitamin E pill, pop it, and put the um, serum from the vitamin E pill straight onto my skin. I haven't done that in a while, but I used to do that all the time. So the last step that we're going to take to moisturize the skin and to finish this off is we're going to actually take a moisturizer. <laughs> now this is the Equate Gentle Skin Cream Moisturizer from Walmart. This does not have anything spectacular in it. Usually, like if I wanted to have a moisturizer where I want to add serums and stuff to it, this is perfect because it really doesn't have anything to it. So I'm just going to take a dab of the moisturizer, put it in my hand, and then what I have here is a 1% hyaluronic acid and vitamin C serum. I'm going to add to that, add that to the moisturizer. This is a very light level of hyaluronic acid. And like we said, hyaluronic acid what helps keep the moisture right? Keep the moisture, keep the moisture into your skin. Should we be extra today and do a little rose water spray? Add a little rose water just to finish it off. Should we be extra? Let's be extra today. Let's be real extra. Boom! Here we have it—a little rose water spray. Just gonna do a little bit, not a lot. This smells so good. And there you have it. This is my morning time, fall time skincare routine, which is directly and specifically curated to keep moisture into my skin. I hope you had a good time because I had a good time while you was here. Okay. So, you know, while you're here, you might as well watch a few more videos. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button, comment, like, share this shit. Until next time, boo boo. Peace out. Yeah, we did that. We did that. <laughs>